um, welcome back to my channel if you're new. Hi! Um, you know, right now I'm working on a piece. Well, this was done months ago and I'm just now uploading it because I'm a horrible procrastinator. Um, I'm calling her Bombshell because she's like one of the most favorite girls I've drawn ever. Like, I love her so much. Um, and this is on Procreate. I used iPad, of course, and an Apple Pencil. Um, I think this was the version before the latest update, if I can recall correctly. Um, other than that, let's get right to the nitty gritty. Um, yeah, treat your artists better. Okay, they deserve so much better. Um, I was recently watching a video by Spill, you know, regarding the artist that was working with one of these, like, YouTubers or something, and how it was the artist was encountering difficulties getting payment from this person and then the person started kind of like sort of dragging her on Twitter and then also not dragging her and you know it was just an entire mess and it just irritated me so much because I have been placed in the position so many times you know because I you know I go out of my way for people sometimes and when I know I shouldn't and I end up in a position where I don't really know how to say no or I don't realize my worth, realize my worth as an artist and so I allow people to take advantage of me. Um, you know, I, so I LARP and you know, um, this person, I don't really know their pronouns as of now but I know they go by he, she, and they as well. Um, but they know who I'm talking about if they're watching this. And they told me like, yeah, I'm gonna give you the money up front. And I was like, oh, people actually do that? Wow, <laughs> you know? Cause what I'm used to doing is getting a sketch for somebody, letting them approve it, and then they give me the full payment before I continue on with anything. Cause the last thing I wanna do is you pay me, you don't like it, and now you're asking for a refund. And I'm just like, you know, it's, I don't know. That's just the method that's worked for me as of now. Um, but there are a number of things where I've entered where I don't get paid right away and I'm kind of accumulating a debt with somebody or they're accumulating a debt with me and I'm doing all this work essentially for free up until I get paid and it's like it's it's just a mess you know and some of the people I've done it for are friends you know and some of the people I'm actually working on collaboration things so it's like I don't expect to make any money at the moment but there are a few other people that I'm not doing anything for and they're just like yeah can you do this for me for you know my birthday you know just to get some free art out of me and I'm just like come on seriously you know um and it's like I just feel like people take advantage of the fact that their friends might be artists and they say you know I can get something out of them it's kind of like people going out of their way to spend 40 to 50 dollars on a new makeup palette by this makeup brand but the moment a small business comes out with you know a palette that's like 30 dollars you know because they're just starting they need to you know, accum accumulate those profits and everything like that and people are just turning up their noses but you can buy a freaking morphe palette for like 50 bucks because they're collaborating with one of your favorite influencers you know it's it's so annoying and it's one of the reasons why starving artists is a thing because it's like not only is it hard trying to break into such a saturated field but it's hard getting people to take you seriously for the thing that you do like I take pride in some of the pieces that I make even though some of them I don't like but I mean I love this one but it's like it's almost like some people value my artwork and my creativity but not enough to give me the proper dues and the proper payment for my effort because I don't just do art I work a part-time job I work from home as well I might do other gigs to you know make a little bit of money here and there and it's like I, I can't put all of my effort into something if you're not going to give me the proper compensation up front, which is why a lot of the times when people would be like, oh, can you draw me? Can you draw me? When I was first started before I did commissions, what I would essentially do is 
say I would and then I never got to it because there's no incentive there's no payment for it you know and I'm just like I'll get to it whenever I get to it. and if I don't well you've never paid me for it so you shouldn't be upset <sighs> I need to make a better video about this but essentially artists deserve so much better if you're going to basically say I love your art can you draw this for me don't be upset if the artist says okay well can you pay me up front or it's going to cost this amount of money and then don't proceed to be like oh are you serious because such and such only charges this much well go to that person don't come to me asking for a commission and then when you see my prices you're trying to renegotiate something like it's it's freaking ridiculous artists deserve so much better i deserve so much better and there's i'm hitting the point where i'm no longer going to just let things slide and i know that's going to like screw up a few of my friendships a little bit but i'm hitting the point where i'm just like i'm tired of letting something just go by me i'm tired of allowing people um things that they don't necessarily deserve because they're not compensating me in the proper format um you know writers deserve better graphic designers deserve better website designers everyone all, all artists deserve better so please treat us better because when you're blacklisted from everything don't be upset <laughs> um but yeah other than that that's my rambling today i'm gonna, i'm just getting that off my chest and yes this is my piece i hope you enjoy it <laughs>